Good morning, Spartans. I'm Alexander Zavala. And I'm Brianna Munoz. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to Spartan, Spartan TV. TV. We hope you guys had a spartastic week. Seniors and juniors, make sure you guys get your permission slip signed for prom. They will be going up $5 after spring break. Also, seniors, don't forget to get your grad night permission slip signed and from the student store. And we also have to visit the guidance office to make sure they have our name right for graduation. Oh yeah, you don't want them saying your name wrong on such an important day. That's right. We are, multi we are a multicultural school with different sounding names, so we gotta make sure they say it right at graduation. And as a multicultural Spartans that we are, today there will be a multicultural fair during both lunches. Bon appetit. <laughs> make sure to eat well so you can donate blood on the 13th. Yeah, there will be a blood drive next Friday. Don't forget to grab a permission slip at the student's door or with the bookkeeper. Also, seniors, you're still in time to make your mark at Jay Hills. That's right. Work has already begun on our wings mural and bricks are still available for you to paint. You don't have to be an artist. Just visit Ms. Grosso in D101 and leave your mark in our school forever. Yes, and Spartans, today is the opening of the musical Children of Eden in the theater at 7 p.m. Tickets are $10. Check it out. Looks like it's gonna be such a great show. Can't wait to see it. I'm going tomorrow. And remember, you can buy your tickets at the door. But, Brianna, you know how there's student of the month for us students? What about it? There's teacher of the year <laughs> award for those teachers. And this year it was awarded to Mr. Burtok. Let's see what his thoughts are on winning teacher of the year. You know, honestly, to win the teacher of the year award, um, it's really humbling. I've been teaching now, I think, for it was my 17th year. And every day, I mean, I'm still learning as a teacher. I just do the job that I'm hired to do. You know, being recognized as Teacher of the Year, it's, it's, it's quite an honor. Um, it's something that I really never expected. I think teaching is probably one of the most important professions, um, you know, in the entire world. You know, you look at all the people that are CEOs and, you know, lawyers and doctors and, every, and everything. And, um, you know, all of them along, along the way have had a series of great teachers that helped get them to that point. Uh, that's kind of my approach to teaching. I think that um, the better job I do, the more opportunities my kids are going to be presented with when they graduate. I think this award is really possible because, um, we, you know, really we've, we've got a phenomenal staff here. We've got an excellent administration who's very supportive of the teachers and the students. Um, we've got a great teaching staff here. The students here um, are some of the best in the district and I really wouldn't trade it for anything. And so, you know, there's an old saying that it takes a village and I absolutely believe that um, you know, that, that we are a really strong and, and solid village. Congratulations, Mr. Burtok. It was well deserved. I'm pretty sure he got that award for being an academic achiever. And speaking of academic achiever, we told you guys this day was coming. Yep, we quizzed the class of 2020. Let's see how you guys did. Hey guys, we're gonna be quizzing the class of 2020 to see what they know about the Sparta Matrix. Hey. What do you know about the Spartan Matrix? Um, the R. What does the R stand for? You gotta be very respectful. Yeah, <laughs> he got it. Hey, what do you know about the Spartan Matrix? I know a little something. So what does the S stand for in the Spartan Matrix? Uh, the S stands for successful team player. Can you give me an example of a successful team player? Um, it would be doing your work in a group project instead of letting one person do it. She did good, so she got it. Hey, so what do you know about the Spartan Matrix? Um, I mean, what letter do you want me to say? Um, do you know what the second A stands for in the Spartan Matrix? Second A? Um, uh, I don't know. What is it? It stands for always. Everyone knows that. Oh, okay, okay. Got it, got it. Always. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. What do you guys know about the Spartan Matrix? Um, I know that the P stands for personal responsibility. And what do you know about the Spartan Matrix? Uh, the T stands for trustworthy. Hey you! What do you know about the Spartan Matrix? Uh, academic achiever. A is for academic achiever. Can you give me an example of an academic achiever? Students who get good grades and a good GPA. You got it! Thank you! Wow, I'm surprised. So our class of 2020 does know the Spartan Matrix. Hey, that's right. 
Class of 2020, way to show them we know our school code. Yeah, but still, us underclassmen should all know Ripley Hills' school code, the Sparta Matrix. Yeah, you never know when Spartan TV might be out there to test you. Or maybe Mr. Lobo might be out there to quiz you too, now that he's walking around the school as the new assistant principal. Oh yeah, Mr. Lobo. And we have an interview with him. Let's see how he looks like in his new position. Check it out. I was a government teacher here at Ripley Hills. It's been a great run with, with teaching government. I've met a lot of wonderful students. In my class, I try to teach them life lessons. And I, I hope that uh, some of my students did learn something and took that with them so they can better their lives. One of my favorite moments, though, we're going to talk about being a teacher, was when I started back at Full High. I met a young lady that was going down the wrong path and explained to her that there was nothing positive the path she was taking, that if something happened to her, her fellow click, gang members, whatever you want to call them, they weren't going to be there for her. But I was able to help her graduate, and I'll never forget the young lady. She became a nurse and cleaned up her life, and that, that's one of my favorite moments of all time. Yes, being an ad administrator is quite different. I get to see students at a different level. What are we doing? I try to talk to them nice. Uh, they, they want to test you, but that's okay. You get to meet a lot of parents. That's always a fun one. Not, not get to know the students. That's a little tough. I get to know on a, on a different level, but that'll be good. Hopefully I can impact them as well. Now let me show you something. See this right here? This is what's really different. This is my lifesaver. This is how I communicate in case something happens. Right here. This is my baby. This way. Ooh. They got me now, huh? That's when they found me. But other than that, I love it. I, I've been working hard to get to this point, and hopefully I can take this further in my career. Seems like Mr. Lobo's enjoying his new position. Agreed. I'm sure he'll make Caruba Hills an even safer school. But let's talk about Color Guard. They reached the highest AAA division and keep making our school proud. Speaking of sports, sister, we should join track and field. True, we should do a bit of cardio, sister. Yeah, my lung has been getting bigger. <laughs> but let's check out how track and field did. Oh, track and field is this season and they are doing great. Some exciting new Spartans. Ooh, we will be hosting the CIF meet this year. So be sure to keep up with our track and field Spartans and go show them your support. Keep up the great work, Spartans. You're freaking lying, dude. That's a lot of conditioning. I don't know about that anymore. <laughs> well, on the topic of sports, there will be a meeting for cheer tryouts on March 18th at 1 p.m. Here are some more sports updates. Last Tuesday, our girls varsity softball team had a game against Colony High School. The freshman Christina Sandoval started from the mound and was then closed by senior Celeste Paniagua, earning the win of 13-3. They are now 7-3 overall. Don't forget to watch their upcoming home game next Wednesday versus Kaiser High School at 3:15. Good luck, Spartans! Our boys varsity baseball team unfortunately had their game canceled versus Colton due to a fire in the area. However, don't forget to tune into next week's show to see a recap of last night's game versus Eisenhower. Don't miss out on next week's away game versus Rialto High School at 3:15. Good luck, Spartan! Our boys varsity tennis team had an all league game versus Kaiser High School. The sun was pretty strong that day, but that didn't stop our Spartans. All the boys sure played hard, fighting for every last point in the set. Their season is just opening, so don't forget to watch their upcoming home game next Wednesday versus Summit High School at 3.15. Good luck, Spartans! Great job to our Spartan athletes. Now to a more serious topic. Ah, yes. We hope you Spartans are treating your loved ones with respect. If you don't quite get what we mean, check out this important PSA. Remember Spartans, let's treat each other with respect. Most definitely. We should always set boundaries in our relationships at the beginning before letting it get out of control. No one has the right to mistreat you, control you, or belittle you. 
That's right. And with that being said, look like that's all the time we have for today, Spartan. Yes. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to us to our YouTube channel. I'm Alexander Zavala. And I'm Brianna Munoz. Make, Make it a great, great day, day, Spartans. Spartans. You, you deserve, deserve it. it. Big excuses, it's been said.